Hello, listeners, and welcome. Twelve Sided Stories presents Otherworld London, an actual play RPG podcast that uses the 7th edition Call of Cthulhu system. We weave macabre, gaslight era tales of terror and suspense for your listening enjoyment. Our games are story driven and rules light. Now, our keeper for Otherworld London, Wes Otis. Hello, let's get right to it. Oh, I'm so scared. Let's let's <laughs> introduce our player. Oh, hi. It's oh, it's it's just me here. Hi guys. <laughs> um this is Terry Gamble. I am playing Alize Carew, 25-year-old spinster, shopkeeper, and more, who knows. <laughs> <laughs> What we're doing now is I'm playing a one-on-one game with each of the players, and this is all happening during the same time period. So when you listen to Terry's episode, and then you listen to, say, Max's episode, all of those events are happening at the same time. Each player is just separate from one another. We've separated the party. You've split up the party, <laughs> which is always a great idea uh, in a Call of Cthulhu <laughs> game. So, it's like the worst. Yeah. It's <laughs> nothing a, good happens. Nothing good happens from that. It's, you know, uh, it's one of those things. It was literally the first thing somebody told me when I started role play gaming. I was like, what's the biggest tip you have for me? Now I'm doing role playing. They're like, don't split the party. And like, right. here we are. Anywho. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Never split the party. So in the last episode, which for Alizé was episode eight, she had a interesting night with a horned god um, (laughs) and ended up doing a hunt for a large boar. Yep. And at the very end of the episode, Eugenia came over, found you. You told her about your night and your experience with the horned god. And she told you, don't tell Benny. Because oh, that's right. Indiscretion, it'll ruin my prospects. It'll ruin your prospects. You were covered in these writings of blood all over your body. Yep. And Eugenia put you in a tub and washed you up. Yeah, I'm all cleaned up. All cleaned up. So all of those marks, all of those runes that on your body. could have given us any good information are, are gone. gone. Right. That's where we're picking it up. You went to bed after you were done with the bath. because yep, I was forever changed and exhausted. Right. You were exhausted. And Eugenia went on her way. So... We pick it up a few hours later Mm -hmm. when you hear a knock on your store door and you wake up to the sounds of horse traffic outside with carts and stuff moving by. You're kind of groggy. Oh, I I don't know what I'm wearing, so I probably need to get dressed quickly and put on something presentable, and then I head down the stairs. Okay. And... Slowly. (laughs) My legs are more tired than I ever could have thought. But strangely, I feel very strong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I go to the door. All right. Outside the door is Benny. He's uh, (gasps) dressed pretty well. He's got on a suit. I did not know I was going to see him today. Okay. And he has some flowers, and he's kind of pacing back and forth, and he sees you and kind of does this, like, awkward little wave thing. Oh, and I make sure I let him in. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Oh, uh, hi, Alize, um, uh, Miss Carew. Um, um, I uh, don't mean to barge in on you, but um, my parents actually have called for me to come back uh, uh, and visit with them before they go on their trip a little early. And uh, uh, I was wondering if if you would come with me to the country today. We'll, we'll probably be back before nighttime, and if if not, there's, there's a guest room that you, you can oh, stay in. Oh, I am not feeling very well. Oh. It would definitely need to be a, a shorter trip, I would think. I, I'm not quite feeling myself, oh. honestly. Oh, okay. Well, are, are, are you sure? I mean... I, I understand. I, I, no, I'm, I'm happy to go. I just need to ensure that we get back. Okay, I'll bring you back so, beforehand. Oh, I'm just not sure. It's not you. It's. Are, are you? Oh, how are you? Did you not sleep well? I did not. I did not sleep very well at all. Okay. I, 
was quite excited. Oh. <laughs> and it was difficult for me to sleep. Oh, well, um, w w what, w what happened? Oh, I, I had a very vivid dream, but it was mostly because of you. Oh, I, I, I see. Um, okay, well, if I came back and called on you in, in an hour, would that be enough time? Um, can we make it two? Sure. Great. So he hands you the flowers and runs off. Oh, he's so sweet. <laughs> now, as he's leaving, you start to realize that some of your senses are heightened. Mm -hmm. So you're hearing, it's not just like a muddy sound mm -hmm. of stuff. You can, you can hear, mm -hmm. you can pinpoint certain things mm -hmm. and you, you start to just feel like your senses are heightened more than they usually are. What are you going to do for these two hours? That... Oh my goodness. I am going to figure out what to wear and frantically put my things together. And I think I'm going to see if I can find any information in the shop just very quickly about okay. this situation, this Celtic god of hunt and, and what it means to eat a heart and okay. all the things I've seen. Can you do a library use? Mm -hmm. Library... Oh, yes. Mine is very... Oh, okay. You got a good one? I think so. Cool. Okay, so I got 36 um, uh -huh. and mine is 60. Okay, so put a mark next to your library use mm -hmm. so that you can move it up later. Mm -hmm. All right. So you're specifically looking for things in the, the situation you had last mm -hmm. night because you're pretty sure it wasn't a dream. Yeah. Yeah, you feel <laughs> you feel like it wasn't a dream. The fact that I can now hear things from very far right. away. Right. Yeah. Those flowers probably were like. Yeah, the smell. Probably the first thing I smelled yeah. before I even opened the door. Like I feel like everything's right. really crazy. Yes, exactly. I can hear, smell the apples down the street from the cart. You know. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> so you find this information where it says that the god of the hunt would choose people mm -hmm. that he would actually it's more it's more of an it it can mm -hmm. shape change it's a shifter mm -hmm. so it can shift into whatever sometimes it's an elk sometimes it's a female sometimes mm -hmm. it's a male it's really whatever mm -hmm. it wants to be but it says that basically once a mortal is chosen the mortal's taken on a hunt and if the mortal eats the heart mm -hmm. She or he then becomes werewolves or lycanthropes. Back then, it was just part of the pack. You would become a bride or a husband of the hunter god and be one of his wolves. And you're kind of reading this, and it's sinking in at the same time because as you're reading it, everything that it kind of says in the folklore is so what I'm happened. Basically, already married. I'm not a spinster. But this is not how I... Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> um, no. Can you make a, a sand check for me? Mm -hmm. And let's just see. Come on, Dice. <laughs> Don't fail me now. Okay. Oh, no, we're okay. Okay, good. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Whew. 56 and I'm under my 62. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you're taking this all in stride. Mm -hmm. Now, I should point out that when I say married, I'm not meaning in the sense nope, of modern times. I might times. be in some sort of pack. It feels like I'm in a harem, too. I'm wondering how many wolves are out there, too, as you just said. Right, yeah. If there's some sort of pack, then I, I'm wondering, do I hear others out there? Are, right. are there people nearby? This is all the things I'm wondering. Right, right. You know, uh, is this, you know, throughout the whole city, or would this be across continents? Is this around the world? How far does he go? Oh, my goodness. And I get dizzy for a moment, and I think I'm a martyr faint. <laughs> okay. <sighs> but I pull it together. Benny, 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 Benny. Okay. Um, <laughs> must figure out what to do for Benny. Okay. Must meet his parents. Make good impression. Oh, what am I going to do with my hair? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I go upstairs. Do the next two getting, hours yeah, just getting ready. Getting washed and... up, picking out the perfect outfit. No, that's not right. No. No. Ah. 
everything feels wrong. Everything feels different on my skin. I'm not quite sure what, oh, no. And then I try three different hats. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> While you're getting ready, I don't know if you remember or not, but when the horn god left that, mm-hmm piece of meat in your to shop you mm-hmm. looked out the window at a particular alley and and you could actually see its horns as it kind of looked up at where you're at mm-hmm. and when you look down there this time you notice that the alleyway like it's sunny out right but the alleyway itself looks dark people are just passing by it and you notice that there is a few of those small creatures with the little hands. Wes Otis. <laughs> and there's this taller, really thin looking, I'm going to say elfish mm-hmm. woman with really long hair, just kind of looking around the street, but from this dark alleyway that seems to be masked from the rest of the street. That now I feel like we've gone from like Tolkien to like Harry Potter right now. I'm very excited. <laughs> All right. It's a platform no one else can see. Right. An alleyway no one else can see. <laughs> All right. And there's an elvish lady. Okay, I'm in. I'm super in. Okay, yes. So, yeah, you just notice that they're kind of looking up at your store, but they're not moving towards it. It's almost like you're being watched. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, I wonder if this is part of the pack calling me. Mm. Oh, Benny will be here any minute. What to do, what to do, what to do. I've got to go see what's going on. Okay. So you dress up, you get it all ready, you go out the front door. Just to go look and, and make sure. You walk across and you get to the alleyway and it looks like a normal alleyway. All right. Magic alley, magic alley tap around a little bit with my little parasol or whatever I've got to get ready to go out. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, it's it's kind of strange and you don't... I walk back to the shop. All right. So Benny shows up with a... He's he's rented a horse and carriage. Mm. He takes you in and and you guys start to go and he goes, um... Oh, I'm, I'm... I'm... I'm nervous about you meeting my parents they're um they're nice they're nice people it's just uh my brothers and sisters are all um uh, already married and i think that they they might get really excited uh that you know i'm seeing someone as lovely and um uh, uh, ni- nice as, as, as you oh, Benny, how sweet of you to say um, so if my mother seems to ask a lot of questions, uh, 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 uh just, you know, know that, um, um, uh, that's probably the reason why. Oh, have no fear, Benny. It'll be a lovely occasion. I can't wait to meet them. Oh, oh okay. As you guys travel and you get outside of London, right? <sighs> It suddenly feels completely different. Like, there are so many smells. I've never noticed how many smells were in the country before, Benny. Yeah, he's like, are you... Okay. It smells so fresh here. Yeah, it smells fresh, and there's these big, wide, open spaces and, and everything else. Oh, it's lovely. Have you ever run out here in the fields before? Uh, n- n- no. Is that something we, we, we should do? I don't know. I just have this overwhelming feeling seeing all these fields and everything Mm -hmm. that I just want to go out and roll around in the grass. Is that crazy? (laughs) Uh, 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 No, no, it's not, 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 not. I've never thought of doing that. I never have before either. It's something that feels quite new. He uh, reaches his hand over and takes your hand and he goes, "Um, is this, uh, is it okay if I take your hand? Yes, Benny, it's quite nice. Are you on edge at all, or are you, like, overwhelmed by all the My sensations? senses are crazy, and yeah. I think having him hold my hand is actually helping to calm me. Right. Because I feel like Ground. I want to jump out of this, like, carriage right. as we're riding, and I really do want to go running through the fields <laughs> and, like, screaming and howling, but I'm trying to contain myself, and it feels like my skin is screaming. Like, I feel like every bit of, like, wind that comes through, you know, the, the mm-hmm. you know on the road... 
against my skin and I just want to rip my clothes off, but I know that's not proper. <laughs> <laughs> and also time consuming in you this know, era. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so many layers. So many layers. <laughs> Like, and then you've got to do the corset slowly. Yes, you've got to go from the certain spot. And it's, that's a whole other so thing. So you guys get there, and mm-hmm. it's this, like, palatial, huge house, country house manor mm-hmm. thing out in the middle of, uh, you know, probably a good 10, 15 miles outside of London. And there's all these maids and servants waiting as the... You know, very Downton Abbey. And, um... <gasps> Benny. He goes, um... You didn't tell me how... Uh... Wow. Oh, uh, I, I'm... I, I, uh... I guess I should have. I'm, I'm sorry. My my father is, uh... Uh... Is, a A... A, a, a duke. <gasps> Benny. It's, it's okay. I feel like I'm underdressed. This is... I didn't know I'd be received by a duke tonight. You, you, you look, oh, Benny, you look beautiful. It's you're fine. Thank, thank you, but oh, this is, oh, this is so much. Oh, I do hope that everything goes well. Oh, oh, it, it, oh it, Benny, it, 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 it will. Oh, Benny. Oh, okay. Oh, now I'm quite nervous, and I'm not sure if I can speak. No, it's it's it. it, it. I'll do the not speaking for us. <laughs> oh, you do have a way of calming my nerves. <laughs> so you uh, you get out, and there's a woman probably in her mid to late fifties, mm-hmm. uh, dressed very nicely, and then a, a man probably in his mid to late sixties, dressed in a in a very nice suit, and they're like, oh. Oh, we're so glad to have you. It's you must be Alize, and they come up to you, and they're like, "It's so good to meet you." We, when Benny said that he was bringing over a, a, a young lady, we were just so excited. Do, how was your trip? It was lovely. So as you're sitting there with this like surprised look on your face. I smell so many things at the same time. You smell the um, blood actually going through the Duchess's veins in her throat. And suddenly your eyes, you can see her heart beating and the blood going through her veins. And you feel this hunger in the pit of your stomach. It is a pleasure to meet you. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, it's so nice. Let's have tea right now. It's it's always Uh good time for tea. Let's let's go in. And suddenly you're so stressed out and almost you feel cornered, I'd imagine, Uh that it's bringing out the the cornered animal kind of thing where <laughs> yeah <laughs> I start lying <laughs> uh, overwhelmed uh, um, I start darting my eyes left and right um Benny yeah yes dear? I don't think I can do this what, what, what do you mean I I'm feeling very parched all of a sudden and very very thirsty thirsty we're, we're gonna get excuse some me tea. I'm sorry my voice I don't I and I get my fan out of my purse. I start frantically fanning my face, hoping that'll help. I feel like I need to loosen my collar, but it's so high up, and I'm just like pulling at it. And I look crazy right now in front of his poor parents. Oh, d- uh, darling, are, do you need some, the powder room? Are I, you okay? Was it a bad trip from the city? I am overcome. Oh, it's, it's okay, uh, dear. I have not been out in the country for <laughs> quite some some time, and I don't think I'm used to all these outside smells and the, the city air compared to the country. The air is very, very <laughs> different indeed. Um, oh. um sorry. <laughs> oh. Yes, I think I do need a powder room. Oh, okay. Well, uh, 
right through here and uh, she motions to one of the butlers to take you to the powder room and, and you get in there and once you close the door behind you, you realize even though it's a gi gigantic house, it's a small powder room on the first floor. It's like this just little box of a room mm -hmm. with a vanity and a mirror mm -hmm. and it has these white and red stripes like cages around you like oh. bars oh no now i want you to make a power roll yeah. hard mm -hmm. this is going to be half of your power oh my gosh what's your power power my power is 70. all right so what's half of it's going to be 35. 35 so i have to roll under that you have to roll under that oh my god Come on, dice, dice, don't fail me now. Or you do, and then I end up tearing up these people's house. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, the reason we're laughing out there, Podcast Land, is I just rolled a 94 when I was Whoa. trying to get a 35. Um, okay, cool. So what does that mean? What, it, what does so that mean? So you're in there, and you start hyperventilating, mm -hmm. and you look in the mirror, and like you feel... Part of your face, like little pieces of little shoots of hair come out of your Oh, cheek. not right now. And you're like, make a straight up con roll to calm yourself down. All right, rolling the calm, but I don't know if I'm gonna get any calm. My blood pressure's already up now. Okay, we're okay. Okay. 16 and uh, my con is 40. So you just breathe and you put your, you start to just like, whatever your favorite poem is mm -hmm. or whatever you recite mm -hmm. that and the hair like re retracts mm -hmm. back into your skin and you're like oh. okay and you one, hear a knock two, on three. the door one, two, three. dear are, are you okay oh just give me a moment i just uh, of course oh 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 i'll be right there <sighs> you stay calm it seems you can't control it if you stay calm you can control it stay calm stay calm stay cal calm <sighs> okay all right so you open the door mm -hmm. and it's just Benny and he goes um, with you not feeling well, I was, and my parents understand, but I'd like to take you on a, on a small walk just away from the sit, away from the, uh, house so that you have a moment to take this all in and then we'll have tea. They're, they're, my parents understand completely. It, I, I explained to them that, uh, you haven't been feeling well. And, um, and I just found out that your family, has, they have a duchy. You're you're in line to be a duke. Y yes, I, I know it's it's overwhelming, um, but um, let let's go for a walk. Oh, 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 all right. Okay. Please just hold my hand. Of course. <laughs> so you guys start to walk, and there's this beautiful row of trees and, and you're walking and um, you're calm because mm -hmm. you've been breathing mm -hmm. and you're holding his hand and everything right now feels okay and he goes um, I uh, I brought you here for another reason mm -hmm. um, I, I know we've only been out a few times mm-hmm and, but I feel a real connection to you. Oh. And I, um, I brought you out here because I wanted to give you this. And he hands you this beautiful necklace, right? So he hands you this. He goes, this was my grandmother's and um, oh. I'd like you to have it. Benny. My, my hope is, is oh. that you, you would agree to marry me. Oh, Benny. This is so lovely of you. Oh, Benny. I... I don't know if I can accept such a... 
I'm Such sorry. A... Did I push too fast? I, no, no. I don't know. I, Benny, it is... Since I've met you, this is a moment I have dreamed of. Then say yes. But life can come at you so quickly sometimes. and Is there someone else? Oh, no. There's no one besides you. Well, then it's perfect. Oh, Benny. Because there's no one besides you for, for me. Oh, Benny. Oh, Benny. What's wrong, dear? I... Oh, I... May I have... May we have a little time to think a- about it? Absolutely. I don't... I take all the time you need. All right. And there's some things I just feel I might need to settle before... Okay. All right. We go forward. Okay. Well, let's go have tea then. All right. Can you... Are yes, you let's. Too? Okay. Let's. So you guys head back. Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't tell him. <laughs> oh my god, I really at a game. I really thought I was going to, and then I was like, oh my god, I didn't want to break his heart right now. Oh, it's gonna be worse. Oh no, it's gonna be so bad. I'm probably gonna have to eat his mom now. Okay. <laughs> Eugenio's in the back of your mind. <laughs> Never tell. That's all I could think. Honestly, that was literally what I had in my mind. I was like, she told me not to tell him, and I trust her implicitly more than I trust my own judgment. <laughs> Never talk about indiscretions. Right? I was like, well, she's been married forever, so I mean... <laughs> 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 so you guys head back, mm. and you go in, and you know, you sit down with them on this back porch with this it's this beautiful green pasture that's well manicured with these where they probably play cricket sometimes or whatever Mm -hmm. with these large trees beautiful open sky kind of thing and they bring out the tea and they go so um the 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 mother is like um how was your walk did you enjoy your walk oh it was lovely thank you benny Um, is always the perfect gentleman i've Really uh, grown fond of him as we spent some time together. So um, he says that you're a, a shop owner, that your father helped you with a shop. And oh, yes, Mom. The Duke says, um, that's, that's pretty impressive to be able to run a, a shop. It's, uh, it shows that you, uh, you have uh, grit like the Americans do. They... Oh, <laughs> well, I don't know if it's grit or just... Something I was raised with, my, my father really instilled a love for all kind of curiosities and, and things from around the world. Well, that's great. I, I'm, I'm impressed with the fact that you do that. That's uh, oh, it's well, wonderful. Well, I'm honored. Thank you. So they come out with tea. Mm-hmm. Uh, Benny says that you're not feeling well, and, and we understand, but we were wondering if you would... Uh, do us the courtesy of, of having dinner with us tonight. We can send you back tonight if you if you need to, but uh, I would love to have I, you. Honestly, I've been overwhelmed with excitement since I spoke with Benny the other day, and I did not sleep very well last night, and I feel I should uh, get home as soon as possible to handle a few things. Of course, of course. Well, we'll... But I don't want to be rude. I don't mean to be rude. Your hospitality has been nothing short of amazing so far. You're not being rude at all. I, 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 we understand. So, Bibby's never spoken of your parents besides the fact that you have a, have a shop. Do your parents live in London? Oh, my father's no longer here with us. He passed on some time ago, but he made sure I was all right and uh, left me with my shop. Oh, okay. I, I'm sorry to hear that. What What about your mother? I don't think your parents are did alive. Did I ever talk about her? No. I don't think I did either. I don't, I, it's She's, up to you. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> I was like, I don't think I've ever talked about her. Um, oh, she's also passed on. I, oh, you're... Unfortunately, I have no uh, immediate family left. Oh, you're on your own. Yes, but... I'm so happy to be surrounded by... Darling, it's... it's Your lovely family. It's very impressive that you've been able to to uh, fend for yourself in this day Oh, and Father age. made sure before That's, that I would be well taken care of. He was a good man, then, if he did oh, that. 
he was he was a light and as you're sitting there suddenly this smell of like pot roast or something really this like meaty oh. smell comes through and it kind Are of you having you. pot roast for dinner? Oh yes, we're having a whole a whole spread. Are you sure you don't want to stay? Oh, it smells lovely. Well, you're more than welcome to stay. Oh, I really I really I really shouldn't, but oh I am overwhelmed by the sense by the sense <laughs> of meats. She goes, I'm, su- I'm surprised you can't smell that. It's it's downstairs. Oh, it You've it got a smells good sense like, of smell. It smells like I'm eating it right now. <laughs> oh. Now why you, all you, this? You you can't smell it as well. Oh no, dear, I can't. Oh. There's definitely some thyme and rosemary mixed in. That's amazing. And you're having carrots and celery, and they're doing something with potato. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know what they're doing with the potato, but, um, uh, yes, you're more than welcome to stay. And as she's talking and as that that smell fills Mm -hmm. up your nostrils, you start to notice that your hunger level is back and that you can... Every every person, the maids, Benny's, you can s- kind of see their heart mm-hmm. and their blood and everything. And you l- look past them to where the, the woods are and you see a wolf sitting next to the tree. And it's that same darkness. Like there's like that darkness mm-hmm. that was in the alleyway. It's the same thing. They're coming thing. from that other plane. And they're oh looking at gosh, you. Oh my gosh, I should have known better from before. They're totally coming from the other plane. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, your garden and grounds are so lovely. Oh, I could just use a little more air and... Of course, I, I darling. I will stay for dinner. Oh. Is it all right if I just take a quick stroll just to... Th- Think absolutely, about some absolutely, and um, they're very congenial to you. They're very nice, mm-hmm. and they finally, you know, they're like, "Yes, you go ahead." And you start feeling your your blood start to go faster, mm-hmm. and you're trying to calm yourself down, mm-hmm. but still, it's not working. Yeah, you need to walk away for a minute. Um, excuse me, I, I'm 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 going to go on that walk right now, if that's all right. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, and I like <laughs> walk as like quickly as I can without looking like totally crazy. But no, I look crazy I'm for sure. Right. And then once I get past like a certain part, I'm finding like some like part of the garden, a hedge to cut around. Right. And then I just like rip part of my top <laughs> <laughs> open because right. I need to breathe. And, okay. And I start. I make a break for it. I've been wanting to run this whole time. Okay. Since we were in the carriage all the way here, and I run to wherever that wolf. In the darkness is. Okay. And I get to it, and... Um, Can I get to it? So, when you get there, the darkness is gone again, but this time, you see, not far away, this elk, large elk standing there. You know it's him, even though he's in a different form, and he looks at you, and he kind of turns his head towards this open field, and he takes off. (gasps) And you start just even though you haven't transformed you start just you get on all fours mm-hmm. and start running after him oh gosh, yes. as you're going and your your skirt is getting all messed mm-hmm. up and everything else but you're it's just running after him yeah. and you're chasing him through this field you know that he's slowing down a little bit and you jump at him and you bite into his neck And then this passionate lovemaking happens mm-hmm. in the middle of this field mm-hmm. with, like, ripping and tearing at each other. That's all I was thinking about. Right. While we were riding out to the country. <laughs> <laughs> and then suddenly, after all of this stuff happens, he fades mm-hmm. into the ground after mm-hmm. everything is done. And you 
are laying there in this field looking up at the sky mm-hmm. and a, you know a good amount of time has passed by and you can hear Benny off in the distance you, you know calling for you Elise oh no and your clothes are all kind I of look ripped crazy. up crazy and yeah like some of your clothes are missing mm-hmm. and everything else mm-hmm. and yeah well what do I do do I stay and disappoint? Oh, yeah. And you feel like mm-hmm. your your neck and your mm-hmm. cheek and your jaw are slicked with blood because mm-hmm. you you guys were yeah. biting each other. Yeah. So. Uh, oh, what am I to do? I uh, I don't know if there's a fix for this and if. I would survive it. What if I want this or not? Alize, <sighs> darling, where are you? And I try to skulk behind a tree. Okay. After a little while, he mm-hmm. kind of comes up to the area where you're at. Alize, are are you there? Alize, Benny, oh. Benny. Alize, where where what's where what's wrong? Benny. What? I am so, so very sorry. He walks around. He goes, oh, my God, what happened to you? Benny, We've I got to get not. you. Oh, darling, come come with me. What happened? It looks like you were attacked by some kind of oh, animal. Oh, an animal came and got me. And oh. Well, <laughs> we, we, can, we can get you. Let's, let's take you back. So he starts to take you back. Oh, I... I I got worried. You you disappeared. Oh, Benny. Oh, Benny. I thought I have not been a hundred percent honest with you, uh, uh, Benny. What What do you mean? I don't know what is going on. If I'm losing my mind, or if what's real or not real anymore. I have the strangest feeling that I, I am a different, I am a different thing than you think I am. I am not nice. I am not. How are you not nice? Good. How are you not good? I am not. You've been I through a trauma. Am you, some sort of animal, I no, think. Oh, Benny. You're you're not. You're it's okay, darling. Uh, let's get back to the <laughs> let's get back to the house. I've ruined everything. You haven't ruined anything. I don't, I've ruined everything. I've ruined everything. Darling, let's go back to the house. You're 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 hysterical. I I don't know. I don't, I don't know what happened. It looks like you were attacked, but... I think I need to go home. Okay, well, at least let's get you back to the house. Okay? Okay. So, you get back... <laughs> Do you need a second? No. <laughs> but dang. <laughs> you know what's awesome? The other three don't know about this game. And so, <laughs> they're going to learn through... The next game, all of this stuff. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be a wild ride when we all get back together. I'm wondering what's going on with all of them because some crazy stuff was happening before we left. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Okay. So you get back. Mm-hmm. And the the mother comes down, the duchess. She goes, oh, my God. Well, quick, get get a, get a bath going and we're going to – did you get attacked by dogs? <laughs> So they take you quickly upstairs. I'm so sorry. No. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm so sorry, Mom. It's, it's oh, all right. I'm so sorry. They whisk you upstairs oh, and start to... It would have been a dream. It would have been a dream come true. It's, it's, it's it okay. It was everything darling, I wanted. Darling, darling it it's... It was everything I wanted. Benny was everything. He was it's, everything. It's okay. And more. He's going to be a Duke your Dutch. I don't even. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Obviously, she's uh, she's hysterical. We have it to take her. It would have been a perfect thing. I have ruined it all. 
I don't know. I think she, I don't know what happened. I have ruined it all. Darling, it's it's okay. The maids start. I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so you go upstairs and they wash you up and they, they get you set up and they go, um, it, it's quite late. Um, but if you need to go home, we can take you home now. I think for all of our sakes, I should go home and never be seen here again. I, I don't believe that at all, dear. We'll talk more about this once you've been able to calm down a bit. Uh, I need I to believe that go she... home. I need to go home. Okay. So you walk downstairs, and the Duchess and the Duke are standing there. Mm -hmm. And at this point, you have this overwhelming Mm -hmm. urge to eat. Mm -hmm. And you can smell the pot roast. Mm -hmm. And they they obviously are about to sit down. And you're heading towards the door. But I need you to give me a power roll, just a straight-up power roll. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're good. So you're able to control your so 17, urge. 17, for those who want to know, out of a 70. Yes, I'm able to control it for right now. Right. So you get in the, you get in the carriage, and Benny is about to get in. Do you tell Benny not to ride with you, or do you have him ride with you? Like, do you feel so nervous about your ability to control mm-hmm. it that you mm-hmm. try to dissuade him from Benny. getting in? Oh, Benny. I should just have the footman take me home. Uh, uh, hon, I should go with you. You're... No, 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 no. I don't know no, what happened no, in the no, woods. No, 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 no. You can't ever see me again. I don't. I, Benny, I can't do Benny, that. Benny, I must see you again. Benny, Benny, for, the, for your safety and mine, you must never come near me again. Darling, I don't believe that. For your safety and mine. And I am overwhelmed with hunger. And as he reaches for my hand, because he would done stick. Yeah, he does that. You know. It's that physical contact. I grab his hand and I squeeze (laughs) it with the strength of a wolf. And I almost crush it. And I say, Benny. You must never, ever see me again. You shut the door and, and basically leave him dumbfounded as you rush away. Mm-hmm. And we're not too far down the road. And I'm going to hop out of that damn thing. And run. And run for okay. the woods. <laughs> <laughs> so you run for the woods. You, without even thinking about that thinking about it shift and mm-hmm. at some point you lose your your clothing just goes mm-hmm. you're just running through and uh, you don't know how much time has passed but mm-hmm. at some point you wake up on the floor of your shop and you're just all you you remember snippets of things like hunting rabbits or hunting mm-hmm small animals or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, And you also remember running with other wolves in the area. Mm -hmm. And you feel, I'd imagine the most alive you've ever felt, but I would imagine you also feel a bit heartbroken. I'm devastated. Benny, what have I done? Oh... And then in the morning, the paper boy comes by and drops off the paper. And it says, three people attacked in the East End by a pack of wild dogs. <sighs> and you read the account and your heart sinks because you think you remember visions of attacking oh, people. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can you make a sand check for mm-hmm. me? my goodness. What a freaking night. <laughs> All right. Oh, it, was, it wasn't that. It was 23. I swear okay. to God. I, I believe you. <laughs> I would not. I usually try to cheat on my rolls, but no, that was for real. <laughs> um, 23 out of 62. So Okay. 
So you take it in stride and you get up and you kind of take a, a deep breath. You realize that you need to find the others and try to f- you know, figure out what's going on. So this is actually a really good place to stop. Oh my gosh. And thank you very much. Oh my, thank you. I really, wow. I really thought I was going to eat his whole family. I'm so sorry, you guys, if that's what you wanted, but there's still time. Well, and that goes back, <laughs> that goes back to the actual play part of it. Yeah, it's, I didn't know. I thought I was going to eat them. Literally yeah. each time I was there, I was like, I'm going to eat all of them. But I was like, no, like I loved him so much. Yeah. I was devastated. You guys, I real cried in here tonight, just letting you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is um, it could have gone either way easily. But, you know, it, that's the whole point. It's not a radio play. It's a, it's a game where things can go. I thought um, I was literally going to eat everybody at that, like, <laughs> household <laughs> and just, like, have a rampage. It was so close. It was so close. Oh, my gosh. That was a lot of fun. What's cool about yeah. these one-on-one games is it allows the characters to kind of develop mm-hmm. with, you know, because now you've kind of developed your story a little bit mm-hmm. and you've had, like, a focus on you and now when you all get together – you'll have a little bit more background. I want to know what they were doing now. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Because like I said, each of you are so different and have so much stuff. Oh, my gosh. I want to know what Eugenia's doing. I want to know what her life is like. I really wish I could tell you because I've already done Ethel and Eugenia. And I'm doing doing, uh, a recording session with... Mm -hmm. Um, Kelsey on mm-hmm. Wednesday. Okay. And so then I'll have all four done before we get together for our next one. Oh my gosh. So real, so real quick before sure. we say goodbye, I'm going to do the social media thing. You can find me at platemailgames.com, any of the sound effects, all the other stuff you can buy for your own game. I sell them through drive through RPG for the show. I edit them in, but when I do my regular game, I just use iTunes and come up with a playlist and that's basically it. You can find me at platemailgames.com. You can also find the podcast at 12, the number cited stories, all one word, and we're all on there. And I'm going to hand it over to Terry. Oh, hi, guys. Terry Gamble here. Um, you can find me at terrygamble.com or the Terry Gamble. It's actually the underscore Terry, T-E-R-I underscore Gamble um, at the Instagrams now. Um, and I am Terry Gamble on Twitter. So, but if you go to my website, you should be able to find everything uh, right there. Awesome. Yeah. And one last note, we actually... By the time you guys hear this, it's we're really far ahead on, on our stuff. But we're on Google Play now. We're on um, Podbean. We're on iTunes. We're starting to get on all of these different as as people find all us. The all the platforms. All the platforms. So fancy. So you can find us pretty much anywhere now. Oh, yeah. Um, and my podcast, Horror Movie Survival Guide, is also on <sighs> all the things. So you can find that, too. Um, it's a podcast I produce um, about scary things and scary movies. What's funny is most of the things that you guys do, I actually did restoration on the audio for a lot of We should of have you come stuff. in and guest on that and then like, talk about that. Subs, uh, Suspiria. Oh, yeah, we love Suspiria. All of that different. I'd love to come on. Okay, so thank you guys very much. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed it. We had a lot of fun, and uh, we will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.